and we are back. I now estimate that the chance of finding a clue in the sand here as to the ship's location is extremely low. <laughs> Move your booty! But you know what isn't low? Getting that door open. Getting that door open? Nope. It is moved high. I if there's anything. The, uh... <laughs> so what was the what was the trigger to get that door to open? Killing the giant scorpion. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> it would have like a heartbeat monitor on it, and it Maybe. like a super villain. The bomb will trigger if I die. You can't kill me, hero. <laughs> Type of deal. Either that, or the super villain <laughs> punches their own heart and kills themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so strong, I punched my own heart. Netero was the real villain all along. So we're back to the start. Uh, I think we gotta go to another place. Let's see what he has to say. So me ship wasn't here, huh? Uh, then there is only one place left for us to look for clues, firm. I love that they built this entire facility. One for lore and two just so they have a minecart mini game to be like, all right, that's good. We don't need to use it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the other ones are like modeled, modeled. They're more yeah. like they're there, but like I don't think they're like filled out with anything. This could be scary, but uh, we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates who stole me ship. Fweep. Aren't you pirates? Uh, he's a skipper. Oh. He's a he's a privateer. Let's maybe. Go. <laughs> Acres away. Zer. Privateer is just a fancy word for pirate. Yeah, it's just a pirate with a fucking piece of paper that says it's fine. Yeah, it's just a pirate with a contract. <laughs> he's, a, he's a freelance pirate. <laughs> I would love it if James Bond just walked around with like a sticky note that just said, my license to kill. It's like, yeah. that's not an official piece of document. It is because I says it is. I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to. <laughs> this is pretty scary, Weep. This just says that you're a privateer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, the the area. <clears throat> one of the locales around here is allowing me to do this. The pirate captain is a mechanical maniac, sir. He got no shortage of evil underlings too. I never wanted to lay eyes on him again. But if we want to take the ship back, then we have no choice. Whoop. I wonder where it could be. That was not where I thought it could be. It's the X in the up there. It is marking the marking the blues. I'm marking the blues because I'm curious what's over in that area. Tighten, I'll probably... tighten up whatever you have. That's uh, probably loose on the boat. So there's the one over there. Remember, we can blow those up too by shooting them. Probably. Oh yeah. The barrels and stuff. Yeah, in case we hit like a like a spot we're not able to go through. I could have, I think, a straightaway just there. I'm not sure what the compass is. I think it just lets me know that there's enemies around. I think it's an indicator for, uh, like with shooters, where you get kind of, um... Yeah, I'll check that on the rebound. Oh, oh God, rebound. no! I've seen no! <laughs> That was terrifying. Don't make me get in there. I'll show you who can actually ram the ship. <laughs> Those lug heads or whatever they're called. We saw yeah. them in the in the Faron area. Um, I think the compass is just to indicate like where your where shots are coming from. Such a cool effect. Smash ahead. Uh huh. It'd be a pirate, pirate stronghold. But there be no Gerudos here. That kind of looks like uh, the uh, the giant Breath of the Wild one, like the Veruta or whatever it is. I mean, there's a like, there's a lot of stuff in here that like they carry over into Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Celtic's this, pretty good about that. This be easily as scary as I thought it would be. Um, but if you think about it, they should all be dead. <laughs> the only reason I'm up and about like this is because of that time shift stone on the boat. So you're aware Fui? of your existence tethered to the boat. He mentioned it the first time. He's like, I, I couldn't get more than 20 yards away or whatever. Mm-hmm. I read that one. So I have nothing to worry about. Vroom. I feel better now, Link. Ah, uh, and so it's time for you to go look for me ship. I'll wait here, of course. The one time in a video game plotline where it makes sense for the video game character to be like, I literally can't move. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't take the time stone with me. I'm stuck here. It's not a great existence, but it's better than no existence. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to chill out over here. I'm He's sorry, like, I can't help. I've spent some time dead. It wasn't cool. I'm going to hang out here in the meantime. I guess we did tangent off Zelda being a character, but yeah, I would love it. I know a lot of people when Breath of the Wild first mm -hmm. was kind of like after the first Breath of the Wild, they're like, oh man, they like, people saw the first that trailer and they're like, oh, Link's a girl. It's like, 
I don't know how they got that from that, because it clearly just looked like... They like, got that from the Breath of the Wild 2? the very first E3 trailer, there were people like, oh, Link what? looks like a girl. I'm like, I think you guys are really stretching. It's just Link. Yeah, um, what? Uh, yeah, I don't... Maybe Zelda I'm thinking of a different love trailer, to, like, but... really get, like, super obscure guys. It's always what you... <laughs> you're always stretching too far. I hate to break it all. What Nintendo can get a little, uh, fuck... Whoa! Okay. Okay. That. Nintendo can get a little fucky with how far they go in their trailers. True. Um, I, sometimes, like, I think Zelda fans search for the moon, and it's like, guys, it was literally just the house right in front of you. <laughs> and I don't mean that to be mean. It's just like, you're, you're pulling a little... Sometimes too, it's, it is what it is. You're, you guys are trying to go into string theory when Nintendo's on spaghetti theory. Like, they're, <laughs> they're not really stretching that far. Now, that said, yeah, when I heard, first saw Breath of the Wild 2, I'm like, man, I really hope Zelda's a playable character. And Anuma didn't realize people wanted to play as a female Link. He's kind of opposed to, like, making well, Link a female. Did he not realize that? Because they made Link all right. They didn't really, like, that was a Koei Tecmo thing. Okay, I that, figured, I figured she Nintendo was a, still would have been, like, the... Kind of, I mean, that game feature, like, you can play as Maron from Link's Awakening. Like, you can play as, like, every character from every Zelda, okay. period. Okay. They've just always thought of Link. It's why Link's always been a silent protagonist. So, like, oh, you see it through this, and they just... You know, they just never realize, like, oh, wait, people actually want that. So I do hope that with Breath of the Wild 2, they're like, yeah, just make Zelda a playable character. She doesn't have to be too much different, but give her a bow and arrow as her main weapon. Give her some magic spells. I don't know who... That'd be cool. If it doesn't I think happen, it was Nintendo bummer, Black Crisis but, that yeah. that theorized it. For the video that I saw, I'm sure there's other theories out there. Oh, there's um, other theories. But uh, that... For Breath of the Wild 2, when you see in the trailer, if you haven't seen it or not, can spoilers perhaps for you for a trailer that's months old? Two um, years old, I think, at this point, actually. It's this, I think it was, the, it was either the first or second one. But oh, you see Zelda right fall kind of into the darkness. Yeah. I think it was the second one. Uh, so there, his, there, the theory was um, maybe Link being above, searching like the floating islands and stuff, mm -hmm. Zelda's, Zelda's going to be below. down below, and it's going to be That'd kind be of cool. like, one is open world with, uh, those look like, what is that? Uh, maybe Zelda, or maybe Link is up above open mm -hmm. world, and Zelda tells more of the story or investigation and lore and stuff through the underground ruins. Well, I know that in like, like Dream Drop tight. distance for Kingdom Hearts, like you could play as Sora and Riku, and like as someone that was a king, big Kingdom Hearts fan, it's like, that's really cool. Um, like, because you always wanted to play as Riku, and you get like that one or two chances here and there. It's like, oh, cool, I get to control this alternate character once or twice before before Chain of Memories had like the PS2 one. It was just like, oh, cool, here's a mainline Kingdom Hearts game. You get to play as Sora and Riku. That's a lot of fun. Which in Kingdom Hearts 3, man, we finally get to play as Kairi? Nah, she's, <laughs> she's basically non existent. She may as well not be a character. Isn't once she again. like a DLC or something like I afterwards? Or, I never got to play there was like, like much of it, so. I played the three. You don't really. I think maybe there was one segment you play as. I thought there was like a downloadable, like there's, something there's, or other. There is downloadable, but I just watched the cutscenes. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Okay. Um, but regardless, it's just like, you know. I think it'd be really cool if you could play as Zelda. And I felt through this game, man, Zelda has a really cool storyline. It would have been cool, like, to see her play differently and just go through the games. Yeah. No, it's I just feel one that. of those things that, like, I think it's more American audience that have really pushed for it. Mm -hmm. And then Japan just... Nintendo's not very good at communicating with their fans, let's be frank. They're really not. <laughs> I think they listen. I don't want to be Frank. I want to be Chris. I think they're starting to really listen because I mean, Breath of the Wild was literally a response to this game. When people were like, "Man, we're really tired of the Zelda formula," and I think Anuma, who's the, been the producer since, or executive producer, basically in charge of Zelda since mm -hmm. Ocarina, is like, "Yeah, no, it probably is about time that we change things up." Nice. Yeah, I'm fire, fine. but nice, sir. Okay, cool. I need that tail. Yeah, give me that. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, the, uh, I don't know, I, I really hope the, the theory from I hope it happens. Like, I Nintendo hope Black Crisis is, is, you know, something that way it can give a greater variety. Yeah. Uh, kind of almost like a dual system of open Especially world. Especially because Link plus has been linear. already figured out. I mean, he'll have new mechanics with, like, the Oh, arm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, And I love that people are doing these, like, crazy, like, oh, it's actually Ganon. It's like, once again, guys, like, that'd be fun, but that's, you're it's, going, you're 
be yeah. yourself for disappointment because it's, it's not quite It's not Ganon's arm. I'll say yeah. that right off the top. It looks like the it's Sheikah like, slate. Yeah. Like it's yeah. It's just it's a it's a new I don't take I don't know why they're doing it or what's going on specifically with that, but it does it has Sheikah slate runes and stuff all yeah, over Sheikah it. Like come on. Runes, like, or Sheikah runes, the slate it matches the Sheikah it's slate. Like, guys, it's Link. It's, it's it's just it's Link. People it, are thinking, uh from what I'm hearing, that uh maybe the Sheikah Slate goes to Zelda and you use your old moves down yeah, in the underground cool. while Link has his new moves with the arm and stuff. And I was like, well, that's cool. So you bring back some of the old, but it's not a time new thing. Door. Okay. Um, I conjecture that unlike the time shift stones we've seen, this device was designed to be carried around and installed in different locations. Okay. We can give this the old skipper. Yeah, the thing that I always found interesting was when people would say, like, they wanted to gender bend Link. I'm like, that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's like, you have a female protagonist. Why don't we just... Yeah, why don't we just go with Zelda? Why don't we use Zelda? Like, she's, like, prime candidate for being this amazing mm-hmm. character that you can play as. Rather so, than a gender bend, you can go with an established character yeah. that has uh, well, a character history that... of people wanting her to be a playable character, or at least get more info. Zelda means so much to so many people. It feel mm-hmm. it would feel weird. Like, wait, we're gonna gender bend Link instead of yeah, yeah, instead of using a protagonist that already has that a already lot of it. history and people yeah. have a desire for. Sir, that leg should be made of bone by now. That said, nice. I think it. I think it's fun when people do like. There's some people that have done like stories where like, oh. Let's I like the OC the content. And like, yeah, yeah, I like, I like the, content I like like the like, way that you theory craft and, yeah, and do your fun. own stuff. That's entertaining I'm because not, there's so much out there. It's like, oh, 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 oh. I'm not shitting on people that make that stuff. That's not my point. No, 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 no. So no, no, no. just putting that out there. It's not that I'm like, oh, this is a bad idea. It's like, no, it's not. It's Step just, the eye. It's a fun idea, but like if we're talking mainline Zelda game, and if I was talking about things that I want, it's like I would rather play a Zelda first before gender bending Link. Like, that seems like a better idea. I opinion. think it would give a greater variety. Oh, you're going to want to move back and then do it. Yeah. Uh, I think it would give a greater variety to puzzle solving. Yeah. If you had two separate characters in the world to maybe there was like an AB puzzle and Link is up top solving A while down underground Zelda's doing B. I mean, think how cool it would have been if Ocarina of Time had let you play as Sheik, but like it's a completely different like character gameplay style like where you're a ninja and you have to sneak through dungeons and get to the ends like Pe- that people would are cool. people are requ- whoa people are requesting stealth sections too with uh with maybe zelda going through the darkness and stuff like that yeah. that way she wouldn't be full combat like like link could be yeah. but she could also use her powers of like oh, yeah. binding because, like, and character wise yeah. she wouldn't have trained for that like she would have trained a yeah. little bit but that she game, wouldn't be exactly like melee combat right yeah she'd, she'd be, be like, her magical magic powers and, like, yeah it would give a lot of range. variety it would add a lot of depth to the game. Mm-hmm. I do hope that's something they took into consideration because it was something that Anuma, I believe, talked about in mm-hmm. interviews where, like, he just wasn't aware. And so, like, I'd like to think that now you're aware. It's <laughs> like, come on, man. Good. We've been wanting Zelda as a playable character since we saw how cool she could be in Smash Brothers Melee. Like, oh, yeah. It's obviously there. I didn't quite care for the take on Zelda in Breath of the Wild. I do think she grew, oh, I mean, I do think yeah. she grew into her own. Um, and I get it. It's kind of like a, like, damn, that sucks. She couldn't get her powers. It took a yeah, while. It was very know. much um, like a feeling. It was a very interesting take for Zelda because usually yeah. she's very calm and confident and yeah. kind of knows her shit. Mm-hmm. But in this one, she's like, I don't actually know what to do. It's like, well, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. She's well, it's very frustrating unsure. too for her. Yeah, and I get that. It was her, She had her own arc to it, mm. which is great because I'm glad she got an arc. Nice evil crystal. Yeah, it's nice. Like, Breath of the Wild was a little disappointing in some ways because this game is so story heavy and that one is a little less, but not at mm-hmm. the same time. But at like I said, I still like Breath of the Wild. I think oh, it's yeah. really No, good. I think it's incredible. Yeah. I, it's, it's an incredible game. I wouldn't have damn near 100%ed the whole damn thing. Can you just roll the son of a bitch? Uh, can you roll it and roll on You can, it? but I was afraid. Yeah, why would you, yeah, why would you want to? Yeah. I don't think anything in this area is going to sink you into the sand fully that you die. Huh? Come here. Oh, okay. Based off of you. Oh! Get him, boys! Wow, I like that you still try to go for it, you dum dums. Um, I think it's just gonna like deter your progress Take it. of. Nice. Huh. You win. Get a prize. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just gonna deter your progress, because otherwise you you roll it and you can't get to it and then you're fucked. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I might be wrong. Bye bye. <laughs> you just run through Shit. and they all die behind. Ah, 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 oh, ah. You're gonna have to fight them. 
Oh no! Wait, did they throw a bomb? Was that you? No, that was me. <laughs> Fine, I'll fight you. It's not like they're the most tough enemies out there. They're not. Plus, you got one whole ruby. Trying to avoid combat as much as possible. I don't just moving it through. That's lasers. Or nah, electrical like or whatever. I beat you already. I don't need to prove anything. <laughs> I have done it. Yeah! Oh, he like T-posed against the wall. Bye-bye. Nice. Uh, and one last one. Just drop the jelly stuff. Yeah, I don't know if that was the jelly. Was that jelly? It looked like it looked like it visibly like Is the that color. A horn? Did I not grab that? One of the horns? Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Oh, I didn't see it. Can you? Uh, move? Uh, can you I was gonna say, can you move can... the box in the way? But no. Yeah, I can pull this to escape out. Oh, I just. Uh, well, what is the benefit of that? Puts on the switch. Oh, puts on the switch. Okay, yeah. yeah duh. So the red switches you have to stay pressure on, and the blue I, switches are one timers. I was focusing through the uh, door, like you would block the electricity, and I was sitting there like, well, you still can't move through. What would that do? That makes sense. Come on. Didn't realize the trigger. Hi huh. Oh, <laughs> electricity. You know, it's got physicality to it, and it stops large objects. Okay. So do I guess we put it just outside, but long and far enough to where we can like that. Is that and nice? Then... Would you leave me alone? Ah, then I you got move stuff it on top. To there you go. Haha! -ha, you thought you had us, puzzle. But you didn't. You want to bam him? Do it. Bye bye. Take uh, that, son. I think you can make that. Yeah. I can make yeah. That. Yeah. All right, everybody, we will see you next time as I go through oh, boy. this area. Yeah, this will be a nice, safe area to rest in the meantime. We'll see you later. Beep, bop, boo. Lots of gratitude crystals, but still the same amount as last time. Yeah, you have to. I have to. Once you get past the next dungeon, mm -hmm. then I can do more of the side quests. I, I remember you saying that, yeah. And then I'll be able to do that stuff. But uh, until then, it's kind of locked. Mm -hmm. I think the last bit of side quests also unlock after you get to the second or third flame. After you be